Hello everyone, in this video we'll be taking a look at anti-aliasing um, since Fluffy depends heavily on a good anti-aliasing solution um, it's important to get that set up um, the right way so here I have a um, HDRP project opened so to begin with I'll just add a Fluffy a simple fluffy groom by adding a sphere and adding uh, a fluffy groom to it. So as you can see here we have our sphere um, which already looks pretty good so and the reason why it looks pretty good is because tempor temporal anti-aliasing is turned on on the camera which you see here uh, and you can change the settings so temporal anti-aliasing is really the preferred sol uh, solution when using HDRP or DLSS um, is also very good we'll go through that in a bit um, so <clears throat> but in the in the scene view you see that it it doesn't look as good it's very aliased and uh, almost looks a bit noisy so to fix that we can go up here on the little camera icon and make sure temporal anti-aliasing is turned on and we see this message down here that we uh, need to turn on always refresh in order for this to work so we can do that by going to this little uh, icon up here star or what it is and then enable always refresh so now we also get um, temporal anti-aliasing uh, in the editor um, there are other things we can do to make it look even better uh, right now this is uh, using deferred rendering um, which is isn't as good as forward rendering when it comes to to uh, anti-aliasing so <clears throat> we if if you have the option to switch over to forward rendering that's uh, that's gonna help um, if not uh, the deferred version looks pretty good as well um, but in order to do to switch over to forward rendering we can go to project settings and make sure that the lit shader mode is set to not not only deferred but to both and then do the same for i'm just gonna go ahead and do the same for all the quality settings like that and then you can go to your camera and check the custom frame settings and then change the lit shader mode over to forward and make sure the MSAA within forward is set to 8x now you see that the results are starting to get really really good um, and then yeah so that's that's like the the optimal settings you can get uh, for fluffy but um, you can also use DLSS if you have a NVIDIA graphics card which um, also looks very good but in order to, to make that work you have to go to window package manager just wait for it to fetch the packages um, and then go to, to the built-in and search for NVIDIA and then make sure this one is turned on I've already turned it on for um, for my asset and um, or in my project I guess <laughs> 
and then um, you can check the allow dynamic resolution and then allow DLSS and then now you see that we get the, uh, the unity detected uh, the deep learning thing so it'll override the temporal an anti-aliasing and you see that it still looks very good and yeah so so that's that's pretty much it um, now we're going to take a look at the URP and built-in versions. I've switched over to a URP project now. Um, so let's do the same thing here. Just add a capsule maybe and select it and add the strand preset to it. And we have fur. But here also you see that the results are pretty uh, noisy and blocky. So to fix that, we have to select our um, rendering pipeline asset and then make sure that anti aliasing is set to 8x. Now we see that we have really good results al already. Um, and if you really want want better results, you can set the render scale to two, for instance. Um, yeah, so that's it for URP. So now I've switched over to a built-in project, um, and the first thing we can do here um, again is to add a fluffy object, so game object, 3D object, and then add a sphere and add a strand preset so we have fur but it's um, again it looks pretty blocky so we can go to edit project settings and over at the quality tab uh, make sure that anti-aliasing is set to 8x and already we have a lot better results um, uh, Built-in also has um, uh, temporal anti-aliasing, so in order to use that, you can go to. We need to import the post post processing stack v2. So uh, switched over to Unity registry and then search for post. We have the post processing stack, and then make sure you install that one I've already done it so I can just go over to my camera and add a post post processing volume uh, no sorry we need to add a post processing layer so now we have a layer and then we can under anti-aliasing switch to temporal anti-aliasing so now we got an, an extra layer of anti-aliasing on top here all right that's it um, thanks so much for watching um, and I'll see you in another video